What did you? What was your favorite performance yeah. tonight? You know, I don't know. There were so many. I, 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 I keep thinking of different ones that I really liked. You know, I, I can't really put my finger on just one. Oh, okay. Sorry. Do you have any uh, projects in the works for yeah. 2015? Uh, for 2015? Well, right now, literally right now, oh, literally. My, my, my show, my show, Intruders, aired for the first time this past Saturday night on BBC America. And we've got seven more episodes coming up. And it's every Saturday night. And it's awesome. It's really scary. It's really cool. It's really deep. It's about immortality and the secret society that's like invading people really? to, to, to live forever. Oh, that's what? That's awesome. crazy. What? <laughs> Oh my Can you tell us a little about your character on the yeah. internet? Yes, my character's an ordinary woman who's undergoing an extraordinary metamorphosis, and she's like in this kind of sad morass of, of internal pain, and her husband's trying to figure out what's going on, and then she starts speaking Russian, and then she starts oh, yeah. dancing to music she never liked, and like dancing to Charleston, right. like why is she dancing to Charleston, <laughs> and uh, you know, exhibiting all kinds of behavior that wouldn't jive with the life that she's lived. Yeah. And then she goes missing, and then you find out more and more about what's really going on with her as things go on. So, As far as getting into character, what techniques do you use personally that help you get into character when you have to do it like four or five, sometimes 10, 15 times in a row for all these different angles and you have to make sure that it matches up but you're still being real at the same time? Well, that's like where acting technique comes in and that's yeah. why before when someone was asking me, you know, if dancers want to be actors, what should they do? And I'm like, study. Because yep. you, you've got to go to class just like you went to class for dancing because it, it really is a technique. Like, mm -hmm. you could have have inspiration strike once but then you have to be able to repeat it and it has to stay real every time yep. so you've got to build the way that your mind creates these triggers for yourself you know to prepare so that over and over at the beginning of the scene you can walk in fresh and have things affect you in potentially like it was the first time right and then you have to take notes and and you know people give you notes and and, and then adjust and then find something new so it's it's all but it, it really comes from like years of, of training and then practice, practice, practice. I'm definitely better at it now than I was when I first started off. I can definitely, like, I can play an emotional scene all day long, but it, wow. it exhausts you. Like, there's one scene in Intruders where by the end of it, like, really? we did, like, take after take of this very devastating scene. Oh my God. And by the end of the last take, I just started crying and crying, and I couldn't stop for, like, five minutes. Like, oh my like God. I just sat there on the floor, like, oh. crying and crying. <laughs> but that's how you know that you're really into your character. Oh, I was yeah. so, into it. Yeah, yeah, for real. Like, that's amazing, because, like, we, we're, we're actors too, but at the same time, it's like we don't, you know, it's amazing that we, when we hear stories about people that are on these big shows and that they can get into character so deeply when there's there's like a hundred people on the crew staring at you the entire time and you have to do it so many times to get into character. It's just a, truly incredible. Okay. It takes true talent. Thank so you. what is an average day on set? Yeah. Uh, like lengthwise? Oh, uh, just just like you go to hair and makeup. Yeah, I go to hair yeah. and makeup, and then in the middle of hair and makeup, they will call for a blocking rehearsal, and you'll leave hair and makeup, hopefully with enough that you're not looking like a freak with rollers in your hair and like you know just white face. But um, then you work with the director and the other cast members and and like a skeleton crew on like the shape of the scene. Then you go back, you finish your hair and makeup. They've lit the room by the time you come back for that for the blocking you showed them, and then you do you know that camera angle five to eight times. Then they'll move the camera angle, change the lens, do it again, yeah. you know, and then and then they switch to the other side, they cover the other side of the room, yeah. and then maybe it's time for lunch, or maybe it's time for another <laughs> scene, and then it's time for lunch. Six hours later from the time that, from the crew call is lunch. Wow. So if the crew call is 9 a.m., lunch is at 3, and that's halfway through the day. They take like a half hour or an hour lunch, depending on the production, and then you work for another six hours at least, because yeah. a minimum union day is 12 hours, not including lunch. But sometimes it goes like 20 hours. I mean, it can wow. be really long. Wow, 20 and hours? You do usually between five and seven pages a day, like of script. That's incredible. incredible. Yeah. Awesome. You get to check out the I know, room. that's yes. so cool. Yeah, what time? Uh, well, this I don't know. It's, it's different on different cable providers. Okay. So you have to check your local cable provider, but it's BBC America. Uh, around 10 p.m., I would say, but some people get the Saturday. East Coast. Saturday. Saturday, BBC America, Intruders, watch it, get scared, get freaked out, love it. Awesome, awesome. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.